When creating your own snippets within VS Code, there are a number of variables you can use to enhance the snippet. Here, for example, I've set up a simple logging snippet for JavaScript files. When I trigger this snippet here, just by typing log with, you can see that it inserts console log and then places my cursor within the parens here so I can fill in the argument. I can then hit tab and go to the end of the snippet there. So pretty simple. Let's say I wanted to log some additional metadata about the current file, such as the file name, however. I can actually use some variables within the snippet itself to do that. So I'm going to just type here tm file name. And when I save this, uh, now when VS Code sees the special tm file name variable within the snippet, it will replace it with the current file name. This is a very simple substitution. So in this case, we actually have to make sure that we quote this as well, because in the generated JavaScript, we need to make sure the resulting string is quoted. But now when we go back here and we say log with info again, you can see that VS Code has again placed my um, cursor on the first argument, and then it's gone and actually filled in the file name for the second argument. There's some other uh, variables we can also use, such as tm line number. So this, as you'd expect, is the current line number. And if I now say log with info here, you can see that it's filled in the line number. Just to make sure that this is working as expected, let's go down to line four. And yes, sure enough, it's filled in the line number. There's even variables such as tm file path. So when I fill this in, we'll get the complete file path to the file instead of just the file name. Or you could do something like tm directory. And this is just the directory of the file. So as you can see, you start getting some really powerful substitutions here. And you can also then combine these with snippet transformers. So let's say if, if you wanted the file name to be uppercased or to do some sort of regex substitution on it, you could actually do that with snippet variables as well. These built-in snippet variables can be pretty powerful. You can use them to generate file headers, for example, or generate classes or other structures based on the file name or other information in the file, or just automate repetitive tasks.